What's up guys, this is my first tutorial showing you um, that Fulgore has the tools to beat Sable Wolf. Um, this is a hard matchup for most. MLG just happened, so I know you guys are frustrated of Sable Wolf. So I'm going to show you some tricks that could uh, beat Sable Wolf, and especially when it comes to mashing. So right now I'm showing you his blade dash. If you guys didn't know, you can cancel it to a DP. You can cancel it to a shadow DP. Um, that is the only shadow you can cancel it into. Um, I tried everything else, the other ones you can't cancel it. But if you do it too close, um, they're going to be able to break it because it's an open to an ender. That's going to happen. You could break that, you know, with heavy. So if that happens, you know, which is, you know, you got to practice. You got to practice. It's really hard to time it to where it doesn't hit them enough to where you can hit them with the DP. So, um, yeah, so um, right now, I'm about to show you guys um, what happens to Saber Wolves that push buttons. Alright, see? Pushing buttons. See, the blade dash beats that. <clears throat> a lot of Saber Wolf players do that um, to get out of certain situations. Um, it's not entirely scrubby, but when you do it like that, that's very scrubby. And when you see that, bow. Hit by blade dash. Now, if you're too close, you get hit. So you gotta do it at a good range, like right there. And you can start off a full combo and punish him for it. <clears throat> so, uh, right now I'm gonna show you how good his step kick is against people that mash. Bam, see? That's another trick. See, and those are the things you can do against people that mash. It's really good, man. It's really good. If you don't do it correctly, and you, um, you're gonna get hit. Like if you don't hit fierce kick right after you do the jabs, you're gonna get hit. So that's what's happening. But then you can mix it up. Um, you can do the jab, jab, kick, and then teleport. <clears throat> right now, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what Saber Wolves normally do. You know, at full range, they do the slide, especially if you're doing projectiles. So I'm gonna show you ways to punish it. You know, to bait them to do that. I do a lot of baiting. See, you can do the blade dash right after. It takes a meter. It takes a meter to um, do that. <clears throat> and you and you can do the eye lasers. I think the eye lasers is very important in this matchup because it keeps you. It keeps um, Saber Wolf away. So I'm going to show you why it's so good to use that. <laughs> you look at that. You can do it off reaction, actually. If you have great reactions like that, oh, that's, yeah, that's the only thing. If, if he's really close, you're going to get hit. So you got to time it early. You know, you got to predict it. Which is, I don't think it's really that hard if you, you know, sit in the lab. Um, now against this, the eye lasers is good. Um, I, I notice a lot of Saber Wolves do that after they do, uh, they wall splat. Like, if you do that instantly, right after they do the wall splat, it keeps them away. Um, now, keep in mind, though, do not spam this, because it can be beaten from uh, Saber Wolf's shadow DP, that the way he jumps in the air, you know. So, um, just keep in mind. I mean, I don't think you should ever spam to begin with, but, um, but yeah, man, this is my t quick tutorial. Hope you guys like it. This is for Saber Wolf. And those are the, you know, <clears throat> good ways of getting in against Saber Wolf. So, um, just about done with the video. So you guys can just watch the rest. You know, um, oh, one more thing actually. That right there. If you guys can see it coming, you could actually teleport and punish them like that. This is very good. It's very good. So, um, I'll be making another video. It's probably gonna be for, hmm. I'm going to do Thunder next. So, tune in, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, definitely, I'm gonna be making more for the whole cast, so, enjoy.